Are you looking for a crash course on the GH Alex LUT in DaVinci Resolve? Don't worry, I got you. Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Richard and it is my goal to help you make a living and a life as a creative professional. It doesn't matter if you started yesterday or if you've been doing this thing for a decade plus like myself, we're all in this together and I wanna to see you succeed. I want you to check off those creative milestones, however crazy and outlandish they might be. I believe in you. I wanna see you do them and tag me if you do. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the GH Alex LUT for the GH5 and how to quickly use this in DaVinci Resolve. When I got started with this LUT, it was overwhelming, it was scary, I didn't know what to do. After a lot of research and a lot of homework, I feel like I have a decent understanding of how to use this LUT. So that's the goal. I'm gonna do a quick breakdown for you guys so you can get back to what is important. Color grading and finishing your film. To start, if you recorded in Cine D, HLG, Vlog to ProRes or DNX HD to an external recorder, you're gonna wanna apply the appropriate pre-file found in the supporting files. I recorded in Vlog, so I'm just gonna skip this step. Next, you're going to create another serial node to properly configure your white balance. I forgot to white balance my camera beforehand, so I used my color checker passport, but it is recommended that you use the primary bars for more control. After white balancing, you're gonna create another serial node. This time, label it main. Here you will be applying the GH Alex conversion file. There are a few different options such as main, soft, linear, or log C. Quick note, be sure to be using the 65X LUTs. These are intended for grading, while the 33X LUTs are intended for reference monitors. After you've applied your reference LUT, you will need to create another serial node and label it post. Here you will apply the auto black levels. In the supporting files, you'll find four options. Auto black one will be the lightest option, while auto black four will be the most exaggerated version. Next, you're going to adjust your luminance levels. To do this, you're going to create another serial node and then create a layer node. You're going to want to also change the layer mixer composite settings to hue. To adjust the luma levels, use the curve window. Finally, you're going to create one last serial node for any additional color correcting and color grading work. In the past, I've skipped over this because I've been pretty happy with the results. However, this is the place where you do any additional color work. So there you have it, a quick start on how you can use the GH Alex LUT for your GH5 in DaVinci Resolve. If you have thoughts, comments, or opinions, or if your name is Alex Mack and you created the GH Alex LUT, please put the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on how we can tweak things, how we can improve things, and ultimately how we can be better with using this LUT. Also, if you're enjoying this video or if you've enjoyed other videos that I've created, please hit like, leave a comment, smash that subscribe button. That would mean the world to me. I'd love to be a resource. I'd love to help you guys grow in your own creative endeavors. And I'd love to just grow this channel and make it a resource for you guys. That is the goal. I wanna help you guys succeed. I wanna help you guys grow. So yeah, let's be a community and let's work together to accomplish our dreams. But that's all the time I got for this episode of the vlog. But as always, create, share, and sustain the life that you want. Get out there and make some awesome work. Thanks guys.